Welcome to Le Mans 2010 and the 78th running of the world's most famous race. A race where each car does the same distance as a whole Grand Prix season. Each driver does the equivalent of five Grand Prix. It's not just the world's most famous race, it's the world's toughest race. And Lord Drayson has always dreamt of competing in this great event. But because he only had sight in one eye, the rules wouldn't allow him. So he took his GT Aston Martin off to America, but the American Le Mans series has no such limitations. And despite the odd hiccup here and there, proved he was as worthy as anyone and made them change the rules. Now he has his license to Le Mans. Having proven his point, his next target was to come here to Le Mans itself. Realising his lifetime ambition, Lord Drayson was probably the happiest man in the whole of France that weekend. The team qualified their Aston Martin Vantage 46th on the huge 55-car field. And despite the odd technical problems, the Aston was heading for a strong finish, when, with just two hours to go, it simply stopped. And nothing they could do could get it going again. The team were devastated, but Lord Drayson still managed to look on the positive side. So, uh, let's find out why the car stopped. And I guess you'll just have to come back again. I'll just have to come back again, yeah. And now he's back. Not, however, going for a class victory in the slowest class, but overall victory in a 200 mile an hour plus prototype. Lord Drayson has gone from club racer to international race winner in just four years. And we haven't heard the last of the Drayson Racing Team yet. Yeah.